Hi guys, uh, today I just wanted to do an unboxing of a graphics card and uh, this is the XFX Swift 210 uh, Radeon RX 6600 um, It's a 1080p gaming graphics card and uh, let's just take a look at it uh, We'll kick off with the box and uh, first thing I'd like to look at is just some of the specs that it comes with so they just state over here 1080p gaming graphics card 8gb memory and uh, on the box they just say it supports pci 4.0 but i don't think you'll lose too much performance when you put it on a pci 3.0 slot uh, switching the box over to the back uh, they've just put like a few key features printed on there so rdna2 directx gddr6 memory and uh, pcie 4.0 support yeah so nothing new at the back just a plain printed box and uh, that's it so let's unbox the card So inside we'll find a plain black box that contains the card and uh, when you pull it open this is how it comes inside. There's a uh, foam padding, let's just put that aside and uh, the first thing you see is driver information. It's just a warning, no driver disk included in this product. So I guess you just have to download uh, the drivers, that's one thing, put it aside and uh, the next item we get is the warranty card so quick warranty card with uh, a bit of instructions inside on how to install the card yes and uh, yeah you actually get the serial number over here printed so you can actually make like an account with the xfx and then you register for warranty which is really awesome and the next thing we'll find is the card so this is what brought us here let me just take it out uh, now that we have the card over here uh, first thing we'll do is just a bit of uh, peeling The next part I'll just be demonstrating about the card. Once you've just unpeeled your card, this is what greets you. And uh, the card is just like a decent understated black all over. Uh, at the top or the front, it has two, this should be 90 millimeter fans uh, covered with the plastic shroud over here. So all this is plastic material, uh, but it feels solid and uh, I like the look it's kind of understated but official and clean uh, next we'll turn over the card to the PCI connector side and uh, as you can see it has two heat pipes running through the heatsink over here so that should be adequate to cool the card and uh, one thing I really noticed is that the PCB is quite short. So 
that's like just three quarters of the card so from the io to the like third quarter uh, the pcb is quite short so i guess all of this is just for cooling to accommodate the um, heat sink something that i noticed about the card is the cooling it has like a copper plate that runs around the gpu chip and also it cools the memory chips around it i can see some cooling pads that are running over the memory chips and uh, that's quite good uh, good attention to detail when you flip over the card to the back uh, it has a really nice design and i like this area over here at the back the cooling is like a pass-through design like the ones found on some nvidia cards whereby the air blows from the bottom and goes exiting through the top straight through the heat sink it has a solid metal back plate and uh, painted black it looks really easy on the eyes but fingerprints and you know she kill your son i've touched the card a bit and uh, yeah has retained quite a lot of fingerprints but the design is really nice the back plate is actually more for aesthetic because i haven't seen any cooling pads connecting the back plate to the back of the pcb maybe you can do a mod later you add some thermal pads to connect it uh, so that it's actually functional but aesthetic wise yeah looks really nice with this perforated design and then the xfx uh, cut out over here that's it on the back let's flip it over to the power side this is a bit of a surprise i was not expecting the card to have like a dual bios kind of setup for the price this is like a 250 dollar card but there it is so it's a dual bios card and uh, it requires only one 8 pin pci power connector to power the card which is quite efficient you just have the radeon and xfx logo uh, these are printed on so no rgb on this card uh, that's quite it in terms of weight feels like around 800 grams so just under a kg here is how the back looks like now no special design on it you can just see the heat sink passing through over there for io output you get three display port connectors and one hdmi let me just remove the covers you see so this card you can connect for monitors for guys who like multi-monitor setups and uh, that's it on the xfx uh, swift 210 rx 6600 hope you enjoyed uh, just looking at the card and uh, maybe i might throw in a bit of b-roll just to display some of the card in its glory Thanks again for watching and uh, remember to like and subscribe our videos. Uh, we'll try to be uploading more tech videos every week and uh, have a good day.